So, Murray, uh, three points clean sheet. That's been three in a row for both clean sheets and wins. You must be good, good pleased for that. Over the moon, uh, to be honest, delighted. The boys, uh, that's the best performance uh, I feel we've had from the team since I came here, including uh, last season. Uh, the team that we're putting together, I uh, had a wee chat with them before the game saying that, because I switched up a wee bit, uh, brought a couple of boys in, which I think is important when you've got a squad that we've got, uh, we're putting together where everybody needs to get games and everybody's putting pressure on other people uh, to make sure that they're in the team. And I think that's shown on the pitch because boys are going out there and they're giving everything for us. They know that uh, if, if they don't perform, they're, they're the stand that we're looking for, then somebody else might take their jersey. And that's something that I think is healthy at a football club. You need that, you need that wee bit of drive. If you've got the jersey, you need to play well to keep it. And to be fair, uh, the boys that came on the day again made a, made a difference as well. Scott Sinclair started and said to Xander, but Xander, being a gentleman, he, is, he took it. He said, I know how it is, Gaffer, it's about the squad. And that, that's what we want in, uh, in, in the dressing room. We want all the boys to be uh, knowing that, yeah, they could be playing, but they might not be, but it's not going to be in a half. First half, you obviously had lots of chances, but we, but we could only take one. Were you a bit of dis disappointed with that? I know yeah, that, chances. that's exactly what I said when I went at half time. I mean, I asked the players what's the most disappointing about the first half, and they, they all answered themselves, uh, not taking the chances that we created. And it only takes one at the other end to make a mistake, and we've been known to do that. Uh, but in the last few games, obviously, we've, we've tightened up in defence. Not just in defence, I think the, the boys, the way we've worked for them and the way Scott scored them. Uh, training is what we're trying to stop teams playing for the front. So the boys at the front are just as important as the midfielders and defenders. They stop us losing goals. And I think that's coming to the fore at the moment. I think we're, we're starting to get the patterns of play that we're working on in training. Uh, and tonight, today, obviously, we get a few goals that, that some of the training deals we worked on was penetrating passes. And uh, we, young Liam's put in an absolutely magnificent penetrating pass for, for GT to, to get the third goal and, and practically wrap the game up for us. Uh, next Saturday in Bonus in the East Scotland Qualifying Cup. What's going on that one? Yeah, I went and watched them last night uh, in, the, in the Cup against Beef. Uh, they got a really good result, uh, albeit there's a few refereeing decisions that were poor for, for, for Beef, I think. But they're a really good team. They're, what they, they do, do is they, they play in the front foot, they leave their, their, uh, their strikers and their wingers up the pitch. Uh, a bit like us, we, are, we like to play with wingers, they like to play with wingers. So it'll be a wee bit of cat and mouse, and uh, whoever plays, I'd say, better on the day is, is bound to win the game. But uh, they're a really good team. They're a good team to watch, uh, and that's the second time I've watched them uh, and closely. And hopefully we will put our, our strategy together on the day that it's going to be better than theirs and, and come away with a victory. Thank you. Cheers.